Today, Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson is expressing some deep concern about violent crime in the city. DPD records show that murders and aggravated assaults jumped last month from a year earlier, and violent crime overall is about even from last year. It's a record year, in fact, for the decade. Jack Fink spoke today with the mayor exclusively. It's not good, Jack. Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson says seven months into the year, he doesn't see violent crime moving in the right direction. Dallas PD records show homicides shot up by 108% last month from a year earlier. And year to year, the number of homicides is down slightly from the year before by nearly 2.5%. Aggravated assaults, non-family violence jumped by 25% last month from a year ago. Year to date, they've jumped by 30% from the same period last year. A 30% year over year increase in aggravated assault is unacceptable, Jack. And we're going to meet or exceed our homicide numbers from last year, which were a record number of homicides for the past decade. In January, Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall implemented her plan to reduce violent crime. DPD says officers have targeted patrols in high crime areas, conduct two roundups a month, and put in place a violent crime response team. But Major Terrence Rhodes says in half the murder cases in July, the victim knew the suspect. And he says people are stressed from the pandemic. People aren't social distancing as we see every Saturday and Sunday night downtown or anywhere around the city. We have a lot of people congregating and tempers sometimes flare. And the increased murders and aggravated assaults come as some leaders and residents want to defund the police. I think we need to actually not defund the police, but actually uh, continue the path that we agreed as a council last year. The coronavirus pandemic shutdowns will lead to lower sales tax revenues and in turn force the city to make more budget cuts. The city manager is set to release his proposed budget to the mayor, council members and the public later this week. I'm happy to contribute the difference in my salary to that fund if we approve a cut. The mayor says if that happens, he's willing to donate a part of his $80,000 a year salary to help pay for recommendations by his task force on safe communities. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.